Hello and welcome to my first review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the ZPS 3200 DPS mouse. Uh, it can be found on Amazon for about $8. Uh, I think the price may have gone up. Uh, I know the trending price has went up to about $10 now. It is a 7 button 3200 DPI mouse. I've been using one for about say about five months now I've had absolutely no problems with it uh, the scroll mouse the scroll on it is actually very good good locks whenever it hits uh, DPI of course it is very ergonomical I have I used to have horrible hand cramps and you yeah, got with this it doesn't I'm going to show you some of the stock images for it because it's a little hard to see on my webcam exactly what it offers. But we're going to flip through a couple of these real quick. There's one stock image of it. Uh, it does showcase the blue lights on this one. And if you look, look up at the top left hand corner here, that button right there actually functions as a left click. Uh, it's something that I was actually hoping for a little more. I actually have the three button system on that side. Uh, but it doesn't. <coughs> but then again, you get what you pay for. Uh, but overall, the button there does help when you're just rolling your finger over to be able to click that. So let's take a look at the next stock image. This one's just kind of a showcase of what it's got in it. Here, there, everywhere, all that good stuff. But it does use fairly good mechanics in it. I have not had any problems with misclicks. It has a good solid click sound to it. So, it is a good one. So, let's take a look at this one. These are the different colors that can be and everything in between. I'm going to switch back over to the webcam here in just a minute. And actually, just a second. And we'll get rid of that image. But, every time that you press the DPI button, the color that it flashes is actually the DPI setting that you're on. That's the highest at 3200. There's red, give me just a second. Where is that? Uh, there it is. Red is 1000 DPI. Green is 1600 DPI. And blue is 2400 DPI. Uh, it is a l very light mouse. So, things... Well... It's, it is not going to be your Steel Series or your more advanced mice as far as construction. Again, it's $10, folks. It's a very solid construction for what it is. The buttons are a little light, but they're not horribly light. Uh, they work very well. I play Smite. I've played Reign of Kings with this. I've played hours and hours and hours and hours and hours worth of gameplay with this mouse. And the only thing that I've gotten on it that has started to go bad is the little bit of paint that's right here is starting to rub off. Now guys, again, a little bit of paint is a big whoop. You're going to be able to go through and repaint that if you really wanted to. But that's inconsequential, in my opinion. Uh, but for the money, I would say I would rather buy one of these once a year than every two years buy a $100 mouse from somebody else. Uh, as you can tell, the color does shift. You're not going to be able to decide one primary color that you're going to sit on. 
that's another thing that I wish that they had done different. But the pros on this mouse just far outweigh the cons on it. And go ahead and show you this real quick. That is a braided cable. I was not expecting that. I was actually just expecting a uh like plastic sheath likes on your common Walmart mice. Uh or other low budget mice I should say. But again, for $10, you're not going to beat this.